everybody. Good to see you. Although I'm not seeing you, we would love to see you here so that we can impart something to you. We like the corporate fellowship, so we're looking forward to seeing you again. Uh, when it, uh, I was you know, just rolling around in my heart about what to share with you today, Psalm 27 came up. And uh, so we're gonna read Psalm 27 and, and go through this today and have the Holy Ghost help us. But this is a declaration of faith in David's life. And I love this Psalm. I've used it uh, in my life uh, a number of times. And so hopefully today it'll bless you. We may not get through the whole thing today, but we'll see, all right? In uh, Psalm 27, it says in verse one, the Lord is my light. And what stands out to me even just in saying that the Lord is, the Lord is. He is present. He is I am. He is whatever you need him to be right here in this moment. Whatever you need God to be, healer, deliverer, savior, uh, peacemaker, way maker, whatever you need him to be, the Lord is that to you. And so it says the Lord is my light. He is my clear, bright day, light of life, light of instruction. He is the light of my life. And so the Lord is my light and my salvation. He is my deliverance, my rescue. He's our safety, our welfare, our prosperity, liberty and victory. That is what the Lord is to us. And David says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? If you have that kind of person on your side, whom shall you fear? The Lord is my strength. He is my place of safety, protection, refuge, stronghold, harbor. He's your defense. He's that in your life. He is that strength of your life. Of whom shall you be afraid? When the wicked came against you to eat up your flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled. Their legs were weak. They were feeble and they fainted and fell. Though an army, a host, a band, a battle may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. He's saying when even there's a battle around him, when they're encamped around him, have him circled around, he, his heart will not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident, bold, trust, and I am secure in this one thing that I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek, require, request, seek after, find that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever, that I may dwell in the house, dwell, settle down in the house, the habitation of the Lord forever, all the days of my life, to behold the beauty, the splendor, the pleasantness, the delightfulness of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, and if we ever seen trouble, right now we're in trouble, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me, and he will set me high up on a rock. There's safety, security, and protection in that place, in his pavilion, in his tabernacle. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. So he's saying his head will be lifted up above his enemies. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. We worship the Lord with joy in his tabernacle. And I will sing yes, and I will sing praises to the Lord. Oh, hear, um, hear, O oh Lord, when I cry with my voice. So you don't cry unto the Lord with your voice. Have mercy upon me and answer me. When you, uh, when you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, will I seek. Do not hide your face from me. And I don't believe the Lord is hiding his face from us. And he says, do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. The Lord is our helper. He is with us. He is here to help us. And not only that, he, not only is he to help us, but he sent the helper to help us. Do not leave me or forsake me. And he said that he wouldn't. Oh God of my salvation, when my father and my mother forsook me, when you feel like you're alone and nobody else around you, it says, then the Lord will take care of me. And in King James it says, the Lord took me up. That means that when I was left as an orphan or by myself, the Lord took me up in his loving care. 
Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me from the will, do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries. For a false witness have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart, or I would have fainted, if I had not believed that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Where we are right now, we, could, we would have fainted, David said, he would have fainted if he had not believed that he would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. And then he goes on to say, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. God will strengthen your heart, be of good courage, trust in him, lean on him, he is your help. And then it goes on to say, wait, I say on the Lord. So David, in his declaration of faith, he knew he was, who he was looking to. He was looking to the Lord. And that's where our help comes from as well, as we look to the Lord. I love you. I uh, hope to see you again soon.